to know to really get started making money online. So I, I like talking about making money online just because it's probably the most common question that I get. People are like, how do you make money online? So I'm just gonna pull back the curtain. I'm gonna give you some stuff you haven't heard before. I'm gonna talk about techniques on how I'm growing my social media. Let me just start by saying this. Step number one, number one. Um, social media is the most powerful force sales force ever okay I'm gonna back that up when TV launched it was a big deal all of a sudden you could advertise to consumers but listen to me I got the stats to back this up pay close attention because I'm giving away some cash and an iPhone 7 to people who pay attention Kylie Jenner her numbers were just posted in like Forbes magazine she made 430 million dollars $430 million in 18 months selling makeup, lipstick online. No company in history. Name a company that grew that fast. Just name one. Groupon? No, not that fast. Name a company that had revenue. I'm talking about real people putting in credit cards. Putting in credit cards. Not just you know projected growth. Not just valuation based on VCs, uh, VCs crazy valuations. I'm talking about cash on cash. Now, nobody. I've challenged anybody who can, Amazon, hell no. Amazon didn't do 430 million in its first 18 months. 400, they didn't even, it <laughs> took years. Avon, nope, Google, not even close. Um, you could think, I mean, probably Groupon is the closest example the, uh, of a company that did that level, but pff, no, 400, she's 20. She has no investors. She has basically no employees except the warehouse. She's doing it with one thing. Basically her Snapchat and Instagram. A little bit of Twitter, a little bit of maybe YouTube, but not much. So my question is, you and I, we don't have the following necessarily that Kylie Jenner has, but what if you had 100th of her following? What's one 100th of 420 million? 4.2 million dollars. If you had made 4.2 million dollars selling things online in the last 18 months, you know, and you might say, well, I don't even have, I don't even have Ty 100th of her potential. Okay, what if you had a thousandth of her potential? A thousandth of her potential would be you'd be making $400,000 in the last 18 months if you were doing the equivalent. So I want to open your eyes to the potential. Like if you're not tapping into social media, it's the most powerful sales force. So if you're just thinking that you're going to build a website and or you're going to you're a really good person or you're really smart and you're not going to master the game of social media and you can make money, you're doing it the hard way. Are you going to do it the easy way or the hard way? So that's just kind of a talking point that I think is important. Like I never before I saw that statistic. Of course I love social media and I think it's one of the most powerful forces, but now I believe this, the numbers show the most powerful. There's nothing, nothing in, when TV came out in the 1950s, uh, someone asked about network marketing. Network marketing, people have made a lot of money um, and some people haven't, but it's never done 420 million for somebody under 21. Under 21 people, that's nuts. So. Somebody said, but getting followers to I seems to be the hard part. Okay. Um, let me just show you the seven step process. No, that was number one. So what's the first thing I did to make money? And, and I don't make $420 million online, but you know, I know how to make 50 million. So I'm going to show you my formula. So the number one thing is understanding what you got to focus on when it comes to marketing, that's social media. Number two, you need to pick a simple household item. I want you, we're going to do a little contest right now. What do you think? is a simple household item that you could sell. 
Let's just start listing off. So we're going to literally, you're watching this, you're going to walk away with a business idea by the end of this. That's my promise to you. A real, credible, viable one, not just a random one. Dog beds. I did that one a couple of weeks ago. Toothbrush, doormats, electric fireplaces, coffee mugs, books. I'm doing books. This is a business that I do with, we ship books, 90 countries we're shipping books to. I'll show you something cool. Let's look, I've been showing every day the revenue for this company just to encourage some of you. You can see the growth of this brand new company. This is Stripe, we'll click it. I'll put my thumbprint in. So today, $22,381. In the last 30 days, we're at $816 thousand dollars okay that's not a screenshot that's a real stripe thing so selling books and book related things me and my business partner are making over eight hundred thousand a month that's just one business i have i got many businesses that's not my biggest business either but that's a business that's only one year old so it's not it we, we just signed walmart as a customer so walmart's the largest employer in the united states and they're going to be offering it to their employees okay so that's kind of cool now underwear somebody said Somebody said chairs. Somebody said condoms, toilet paper, tooth, uh, blender on Facebook. So let's just take one random one. I'm gonna randomly pick here one of these people. Adrian, tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. Clocks. Thomas Basham said clocks. So example, this is a random one. Clocks. Okay, here's what I would do. Follow very closely. This is practical advice. You want to Snapchat this real yes. quick? Yes. <clears throat> Three, two, three. I'm live doing a talk. Seven ways you can get started selling something online. I'm live streaming and we're picking a random person's idea how to sell clocks online. I bet you that you could build a six-figure business. Uh, I bet you could build a six-figure business in one or two years, or maybe shorter, maybe one or two months, depending on how skilled you are selling clocks. Okay, so what I would do, first step, I would go, and there's, it doesn't matter really what order. First step, I get my website and my domain name, so I would go to, I use Namecheap or GoDaddy. So I'll go here, you can see the icon for Namecheap. It's that little icon. I don't own this company, but you can use. So I'd click on Namecheap and I would search. I'm gonna do it right now. Like we're building an actual company. So what are some ideas? It's hard to get one word domains. So I would get two, three or four word domains. So what's a good name? Big, the big clocks. Well, first of all, I try to think through my niche. What, what's my angle? I'd probably go vintage or exotic. So, because I'm gonna go with exotic. So exotic clocks, I'll just check it on the app here. Uh, let's see if it's taken. Holy shit, it's available. Yeah, I'm gonna actually buy it right now. That's funny, I'm gonna buy it. You guys are too slow. But if one of you really wants the business, you can have it actually. I don't even care. <laughs> so if you can beat me to buying it, we're racing right now to buy exoticclocks.com. That's insane that that's available. By the way, I did not plan this, but I'm cracking up. So if some of you, I don't care if somebody beats me to it, but I'm gonna just try to buy it. I gotta log in. Usually I'm logged in. But okay, you guys might have a chance now because I'm not logged in. All right, here we go. Let's see if I buy it. Who's slow? Who's fast, baby? I'm ordering it. It is a good name. I cannot believe I got it. I got it! Exoticclocks.com. What the hell? That? It was $8. <laughs> Y'all sleep on these ideas. Okay, we got it. Why did I pick exotic clocks? Because I'm thinking, uh, so I now own this. If one of you really wants it, I'll give it to you. I don't care. I'm never gonna do this actual business, but the reason I like it, I, what was the first step in the seven steps that I said? 
Number one, social media rules. So I gotta think, how am I gonna market this company if it's boring clocks? Adam says, worst name ever. Adam, you don't know shit. You, know, you can't you spell clocks right. It is a good idea because on social media, if you had crazy clocks, people, one of the posts might go viral. Does that make sense? And you're looking for things the way that Kylie Jenner made so much money is she went viral. So somebody said, what is an exotic clock? Oh Lord, you don't know what an exotic clock is. You're not smart enough to make money online if you don't know what. Exotic clock would be like an out of the ordinary clock. For those of you who failed vocabulary 101. So I then go either to ClickFunnels, Shopify, possibly WordPress, and definitely I would also go on Amazon. You can create an Amazon store, your own Amazon store. Okay. <laughs> Someone said, Ty, with that jacket, you look like you're about to read our minds. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? I'm doing a little live call. You want to jump on here? I'm go ahead. You're good? Okay. Yeah, I was going to try to scoop you on these other clocks that were too quick. I was quick, I man. That's really available. I can't believe it is. That's a good demand. I promise you, this is, for those of you beginning entrepreneurs, this is a six figure business right here. Um, you know, and whether it be high six figures, possibly seven figure business, but I would say realistically, that's a business that you could gross, I don't know, three, 400,000 gross a year. If you could do it at 20, 30% profit margins, that's a hundred grand and it wouldn't take all your time. So the next thing I would do, I would get one of these sites up. I do probably, let's say click, I probably, actually I might do Shopify and Amazon for this one. For those of you who are in my actual course, um, we go into depth, like knowing which one you should go into. But, okay, so the next step, we got seven steps here. The fourth step that I would do, after that, I would set up a Stripe account for Braintree. You have to collect credit cards. Possibly PayPal. I don't really love PayPal, even though Braintree is actually owned by PayPal. But the good thing about these, they allow you to collect credit cards from people pretty much anywhere in the world, especially Stripe. It's an integrated merchant account system. So some people forget to set up their merchant account system correctly, and then they build a business and they can't take any money. I've seen people do that, believe it or not. You got to remember it to make the money. Okay. Some, Dante Richardson said, damn it, the name is taken. Yes, I, I took it right here in front of you. This is unscripted, by the way. This is a live call. I'm eating grapes on it. So, by the way, we don't have much time because I gotta go soon. Going to the Laker game. Um, give me one second here. Okay, so I set up, I use Stripe, you can see right there. Stripe, it's the simple app. You plug it into your website. Okay, step number five. We'll conserve paper here. What would you, what do you think, who can guess step number five? What would you do? Someone said, Ty, I'm in your mentor program. Is it wise to join the how to make money uh, online, the drop shipping course? Sure. A lot of people do more than one thing. So number one thing for those of you who join it late, I literally show it, we picked a random business to start selling household items. I, I think one of the things I want you guys to take away is like you walk every day, buy stuff that you could be online selling. And if you go to Amazon, Amazon has over 300 million products for sale right now. And lots of different people are making those sales. So that basically means like, there's 300 million different items you could sell. So what else could you be selling? I took this name exotic, exotic clocks. 
All right, I'm setting up my shop. So step number five, I would probably go to LegalZoom. There's a couple companies, but this is one. I know the guy who founded it. Um, I wish I had invested in this business. It's really good business. LegalZoom.com, and I would register exotic. I'm just telling you what I would do. I'd probably use an LLC, and I'd probably do it in Delaware. Some people will do it in Nevada. Some people will do it. You, you, I live in California, so you'll have to register it later, but LegalZoom will do it all for you. They'll check that the name's not taken. So then after that, I could use that to open a business bank account. I don't like to, don't mix your personal bank account with your business. You don't wanna have exotic clocks income going into your personal Bank of America. Why Delaware? Delaware has a lot of established law, so it's a very common place that people set up uh, accounts. It's probably the most used in the United States. Some people use Montana, some people use Florida. LLC, yes, stands for Limited Liability Company. You can also do an S Corp, you can do a, a C Corp. Those are the primary three in the United States. If you're in Sweden, they do something called uh, a, S, uh, a, B companies, if you do it in the United Kingdom, it's called LTDs, limited companies, so it just depends where you are in the world. Okay, but the main reason is you do this, protects you liability-wise, and it also allows you, you can open a Bank of America uh, account, business account online, if you've registered it on a company like LegalZoom, they'll give you the incorporation or the uh, you know, formation paperwork, and then you upload those. Okay, so next. By the way, notice how easy this is. None of this is rocket science yet. Now there's some advanced parts that we'll get to, but I want you to understand like, some of you are unnecessarily broke. I bought the domain name for $8. If you do it on LegalZoom, um, and you, you don't have to incorporate right away, but if you did, it's a couple hundred dollars. I mean, you can bi literally be in business now for under a thousand bucks. You can borrow a thousand bucks from your friend and give them equity in the business. You know, like Facebook, he borrowed a little bit of money to start with because they didn't even have $10,000 to get the site up. Now it's even cheaper. You can be up on Shopify for under a hundred bucks. ClickFunnels, uh, WordPress, you, some of these you can even do free. So, what are we on, number five? So then, the next thing I gotta do is I have to find my supplier because I gotta get the clocks. So, I could look on Alibaba. This is a Chinese website where you get stuff manufactured in China. Or, first place I'd probably look is on Amazon and I try to reverse engineer, I might make a phone call to a couple of the exotic clocks that are already being sold. Let's look what's being sold right now. How much time we got left? 6.17. All right, I gotta go soon. I'm going to Laker game. I'm gonna put up a link in a second for those of you who wanna get in my advanced version of this. I'm giving you the free version, and I got a two-month course that'll teach you how to do it. That's 100% money back guaranteed. If it doesn't work for you, get your money back. Um, but let me just show you. I'd go to Amazon. Da -da -dee, Amazon, I'm here. I'll just put in clocks and try to see. You can tell you can sort on Amazon by like best sellers. You can actually do this as your very first step, but look how many clocks. There's 387,000 clocks. Remember this guy said that's a bad idea? Ha, <laughs> somebody said I want a big baller clock. Exactly, manufacture it. Now you, you need to get permission if you're gonna use big baller, but you could maybe change the name or do something or cut a deal with Lonzo Ball and the whole Ball family and you could create the clock version if you get their permission. But here, there's already 300, so it looks like, um, let me sort these. You can sort them by, I'm gonna sort by probably, let's just say customer review because that'll show you like what people are actually buying. Wake up light, smart, smart lamp, sunrise alarm clock. So this is like a little, see it's an exotic clock. It's a different kind of clock. 
It's a clock that basically allows you to uh, somehow, it's like a nature's night lamp. So it doesn't have blue light. Look at another one. See, I told you guys, you gotta remember, I've been in business since I was 19. My gut feeling is, I don't know if you guys can see, let me turn the brightness down, but. I can see it on um, Basically, all the clocks that are getting the most reviews are weird clocks. Like that's kind of normal, but look at this weird shit. So I told you, if you own exotic clocks, you can see the best selling, the highest reviewed on Amazon are those. I'm just <clears> giving <throat> you guys a business idea, literally. If somebody really wants it, I can give you exoticclocks.com. I just bought it because I thought it was funny. So someone said that would be reselling. Manufacturing has different costs. Yeah. You don't have to make your own clocks. That's the whole point I'm trying to tell you. You can go to Alibaba or you can buy local manufacturers or you can wholesale and resell from various clock companies. So you can look at Amazon, you can look at local resellers. You can even buy one of the clocks of your competitors and then get the email of the company and call them. <clears throat> so next, step number six. So we set up a, what's called a drop shipping account, step number five. Step number six, what I'm gonna do, it's a very simple thing. I'm gonna create some Facebook ads that are a uh, test. I want to test, will people click on an ad? Okay, I'll see you at the end. I would, I'm like, you know, do people, is there demand for this? I call it appetite. Is there an appetite among consumers? And it's never been easier. On Facebook, you can start testing this for $10, but I'd probably spend a hundred bucks. And I would just literally put up a, put up some ads. I would find best-selling ad, I mean best-selling product on Amazon, and then I would take a similar image, something somewhat similar, and I would just see, and I'm not even trying to make money yet. You could use Google Ads, you can use something called Google AdWords. Facebook allows you to, to target, but, and I just wanna see, does anybody click? Because you don't wanna build a whole business if you haven't tested it, right? So I would just test it. I can tell very quickly, if I spend $100 and only one person clicks on the ad, then probably either my targeting is off, my ad is off, or just, I mean, my, my audience is off, or they're, hope, unfortunately, sometimes you launch businesses and you realize it's not a good business, then I shut it down and I start over. I mean, this whole thing takes you like one day. So, next, after I create my Facebook ads, I would target, People who are on, I bet you if I go to Facebook right now, let me just pull up Facebook. I bet you there's like groups of people, believe it or not, the world's kind of weird. Anything you can think of, watch, I'm going to just put in clocks. There's probably like clock tower groups. Look at all these pictures of clocks. See, there's a group called anti-clock group with 7,000 members. I'd try to join, and it's 10 posts a day. I would definitely join this group and start posting and talking to people. There's clock collectors. Look, all these combined. That's 7,000, 10, 13,000, 11,000, 15,000. Micro brand watches, 26,000. Remember, you can do high end. You could branch into watches. That's the cool thing. So you start with clocks, but you could branch into watches. I mean, there's at least, in the word clocks, there's probably 100,000 people you could target on Facebook. See how easy this stuff is, man, I'm telling you. They should have taught you this in school. There's 300 million items being sold on just Amazon alone. Why don't you get in on the game? Sell one of them, sell two of them. Even if it only makes you 100 bucks a month, 1,000 bucks a month, 10,000. I showed you today, um, you know, I'm making on Stripe, Let's see if it went up. I made this business, one of mine made $22,737 today. That's not a screenshot. So that's just selling books. I picked something that I like. You do clocks, some of you do t-shirts, some of you should do glasses. I got a company selling glasses, makes $6,000 a day. How many people wear glasses in the world? Probably 25% of people. So my target market is 25% of 7 billion people, which is 
over a billion, one or two billion people. So I think that what holds us back is they don't teach us the important stuff in school. So I'm going to tell you the seventh thing that I would do is I would invest in my own skill. So anything I do, whether it's making money online, whether it's becoming an investor, whether it's, you know, doing, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and boxing, I'm always investing in my own brain. Some of you are investing, let me tell you how each of you here, all of us, we have people on YouTube, we have people on Twitter, we have people on Instagram, we have people on Facebook. I want you to know that the people who own these social media networks that you're on, you have made them, you and I have made them the wealthiest people in the world. Facebook is owned by Mark Zuckerberg, who's worth over $50 billion in his 30s, okay? Instagram is also owned by Mark Zuckerberg. YouTube is owned by Google, which is Sergey Brin and Larry Page, wealthiest people, some of the wealthiest people in the world. Twitter is now a publicly traded company, but the original founder, like Jack Dorsey, one of the richest people in the world. So my question to you is, are you gonna just make them money? Because the more you go on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, it's great that you do that and I go on social media. So I'm not saying you shouldn't go on social media. But I also want to get a piece of the pie too. So what I'm suggesting today and why I did this before I went to the Laker game here is I want you to get in on the game and I showed you, like this is me unscripted. I've been here 28 minutes. And I'm showing you, like, you can make money on clocks. I just picked a random thing. You can sell art. You can sell suit tops like this. There's a new company that's doing consignment clothing. I just saw um, yesterday they raised like 50 million bucks helping you sell consignment. You could go around to thrift stores, get the stuff for cheap at thrift stores, put it the best stuff. Like, let's make one quick more business, uh, business before I leave. Here's a business, one more for you who like clothing. Let's go to Namecheap. Or you can do GoDaddy. Let's buy a clothing brand. Vintage clothing. Uh, what's a third word? Vintage clothing. I don't know. Depot. <laughs> kind of a stupid name, but whatever. It's available. Now it's a dumb name, but like that's not for eight bucks. I would. I'm not gonna buy it because I don't have time. So you go around. There. This is a Paul. This is a Paul Smith jacket, it's probably 800 bucks, but you could buy something like this cheap and you could go and resell it all over the place. There's literally consignment online stores that you can do it. So I hope that each of you, instead of you being a sucker, will get in on the game. And to me, the definition of a sucker is somebody who always gets used, but never builds in, the, in, the, in what they're getting used on. So, I use Instagram, but Instagram also makes me money. I use YouTube, but YouTube also made me money. I use Facebook. So even though I'm making Mark Zuckerberg richer, he's also making me richer too. Does that make sense? So you need to not be the sucker in the game. And if you just follow the school system, there's nothing wrong with going to school. There's nothing even wrong with going to college. But like, who's the sucker in the room? I just gave you a vintage... Clothing Depot is not that bad of a name because it could be, you know, it's not perfect, but it would sound like a legitimate brand. Eight dollars. So uh, that would be the seventh thing. I would invest in my own skills. I spend literally, I just looked at my CPA. I spend over $100,000 a month on trainers, whether it's business trainers, consultants, traveling to conferences and learning from people. So I sell programs online, but I spend way more money than anybody that's in my program. So I practice what I preach. So I hope that each of you, um, instead of just spending all your money on rent, spending all your money on Geico auto insurance, spending all your money on you know Coca-Cola or food or whatever, reinvest some of it back into yourself. So I'm gonna put up a link. I built a group, it's a small test group that I built in the last month where I'm gonna actually, me and my team's gonna walk you through for 60 days. You're gonna get a special password. You log in with a special password. You can log in on your phone, on your laptop. It's a separate website. It's not on YouTube or anything. And you can access the full 
uh, program step by step. I'll go in depth on when to use Shopify, when to use ClickFunnels, when to use Amazon, how to set them up. We have screen shares where you can watch us doing it and you can do the same thing. How to create Facebook ads, how to buy a domain, how to register on LegalZoom, everything step by step. Some of you can just do this on your own. For those of you who feel like you want some help and you want to invest in yourself, I've got this program. It's all about how I've made money online. Um, somebody said they never heard of ClickFunnels. I'll introduce you to a lot of tools. You need the right tools, okay? So I'm gonna put up a link here. Uh, can you bring the first one over there? There there might be a button on this page if you're watching on my website. If you're not, I'm gonna give you a link. I gotta go to this game. Uh, so this program, it's a two month program. You get access to le lessons and I'm gonna go once a month you can talk to me live. I'll be doing a live um, call so you can ask me questions, my team. Like I said, I just showed you, just using these seven techniques in this last month, one of my businesses, not my main business, has now made $817,000 selling books, household items. This is the glasses one, it's a, new, it's a smaller business. This one on Shopify today made $2,000. And then on Amazon, we do about double that. So probably about $6,000 today selling glasses and sleep stuff. So I'm telling you from actual experience, I'm not lecturing you. I'm gonna open up, pull back the curtain and show you how I've done this, how my business partners and I have done this, how my team does it. So you're gonna learn the mastery of selecting the right household product. You know, the, the clock one's a good idea. I think the consignment one, there's even better ideas. Kitchen items are really good, by the way, and pet items are really good. We'll talk about how to automate, I call it robotic automated income. While I've been here on this call, I don't know if you guys noticed, but while I've been here on the call, I've made about $1,000 um, selling books, like doing nothing, talking to you guys. While I'm gonna be at this Laker game, that's a smaller business of mine. My main, I probably make, you know, probably do at least 100,000 a day online. So while I'm gonna be at the Laker game, I'll probably make five grand while I'm watching the game. Okay, so I'm gonna show you about that. I'm gonna show you how to create multiple product so that you diversify income. I wouldn't just do clocks. I would get the clock business up and going, maybe I'd build the clothes business, maybe I'd, you know, you wanna sell a pet item, maybe you wanna sell something in the kitchen. So you can keep going, all right? So these are all the subjects you're gonna learn. Then number four, we'll talk about how, when and how to use ClickFunnels in Shopify versus Amazon versus WordPress versus some of you might want to build your own custom site. We'll talk about that. Talk about the financial mastery, how to connect the Stripe accounts, Braintree, PayPal, or sell using Amazon merchant accounts. So you got to be able to take the money in. We'll talk about how to set up the, the um, banking side of things, step by step, how to do that. We'll talk about how to set up the drop shipping. So you can ship the products. Should you go through China, Alibaba, local products? Do you use Amazon? Do you ship it out of your own house? That'll all be covered. Give me two months, guys, for a small group of you. 1% of you that's here, come in this group. Change your life. Talk about uh, marketing techniques, viral marketing, how to stand out, when to use controversy, how to use social media, Kyrie, Kylie Jenner, $430 million of makeup she sold in 18 months as a 20 year old. And guess what? She uses viral marketing, a little controversy, a little this and that. If you put it all together, you have something powerful. We'll talk about you know doing things to make people laugh, warm, good, all those things and people will make them outraged. Now, um, where's the link? Is the link here? Uh, what is the link? Oh, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, the link is in the title. Online income. If you're on Twitter, the link's in the title. If you're on Instagram, it's pinned. And if you're on Facebook, it's also in the title. Um, if you don't see it, you can go here. If you want to join the test group, what is it again? Online income. Just go. And the reason you got to go, go here is because I've got eight bonuses for you that if you get in. And I'm going to keep this up. Um, like I said, I got to head to the Laker game. I'll keep this up. Till the Laker game starts, so one year. All right, one hour, not one year. <laughs> <laughs> one hour. Game starts at one hour. Um, so let's 
let's swap this out. Here's the bonuses. I'm gonna be reading off the name, the names of those of you who get in the test group. Let's see if anybody got in the test group. I got little real-time alerts. Here we go. See you, Chen. Congratulations. Where do you live here? Oh, Ontario, Canada. Awesome. Christian Morris. Congratulations. Where do you live? On you from YouTube Live. Awesome. So we got people coming in already. All right. So one of you got your credit card was declined. Don't freak out if your card's declined. Very simple. You can contact my office. We have a phone number on my website or live chat. They can set up PayPal or another way for you. Okay. Here's eight bonuses for all of you who get in before the Laker game starts here. Uh, I'm gonna, I created my own private Facebook group so that all of you that get in my test group can talk to each other and ask each other for tips. You don't want to just get tips from me. Get tips from tons of people. So that's a $500 program. I'm going to give you a scholarship on that. Okay, if you get in the main program, I'm going to scholarship you this. Number two, I'm going to let you talk to my office. If you actually want to talk to me or my team, um, I'm going to, we usually charge 300 bucks for that. I'm going to give you a scholarship on that. Number three, social media secrets. About six months ago, I made a uh, special program. I only had it open for about two weeks. It was how to go viral with your own social media so that you can grow. Like I just passed today 2.7 million followers on Instagram. My, my YouTube, I'm sorry, my, my Twitter, it just went to a, I grew about 400,000 in the last month. So I'll be showing you secrets to become a social media influencer. People paid 500, I'm gonna waive that. My mini MBA, I didn't go to Harvard, I didn't go to college. I'm gonna show you what I've learned outside of college that's kinda like a college program. I like it better because I learned it from the school hard knocks. So that's 500. Um, I'll give you advanced sales techniques. It's my persuasion program. Um, someone talking about Lonzo Ball. Yes, I'll be seeing him at the Laker game. His dad is very good at persuasion. There's 25 cognitive biases. There's multiple frameworks that you need to understand the, mo the modalities of psychology. So that's a program that I have that I'm going to waive the 500 bucks. Got the Entrepreneur Accelerator to help you become uh, someone who can scale their business if it becomes more successful. So that's $300. I'm gonna give you a conference ticket. My next conference is coming up in a couple months. Who wants to go? Meet me in person. And I'm gonna give you a replay from my last conference. So all in all, what does this add up to? So I'm gonna give you $2,700 worth of stuff for free. Uh, I like to reward action takers. Most people, trust me, you know what, keep, why some people make money online and most people don't? Because selling online started in 1994 with Jeff Bezos. It's not new for those of you who are like, oh, I'm suspicious. 1994, you're 23 years late to the game, okay? But it's not too late. That's the good news. Kylie Jenner just started up. I just started MentorBox a year ago, okay? So for those of you who are action takers, I want to give you that reward. I, I believe in that. Ryan Austin, welcome to the group. You're in California. Congratulations, my friend. When you get in the test group, you can also add your email address. Okay, how much does it cost? I got good news and bad news for you. The, oh. oh yeah, this is important. For anybody who's freaked out, worried I got a hundred percent money back guarantee hundred percent unlike college where if you pay and it doesn't work for you you just have college debt if this doesn't work for you I will give you not 99 not, I'll give you 100% of your money back so for those of you who are super anxious about everything in life you don't have to be anxious you can go to sleep you can join the test group go to sleep knowing that you're great and it's actually not 30 days, it's 60 days. We have 60 days, okay? So it's, the whole, it's a two month program. So the whole program, you try it if it doesn't work for you, get your money back, okay? Uh, and here's the link. Make sure you go to this link or the link that's in the title of the live stream. Or on Instagram, you can see a special link there. If you do that, you'll get all the bonuses. If you try to buy it without it, 
you'll have to buy those bonuses separately for 2,700 bucks. So I'm gonna give you a way to save $2,700. <gasps> now, one thing I wanna say, okay, so how much does it cost? So I told you, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is there's cost, but it's actually not a bad news, but for a lot of people, they're like, oh, why isn't it all free? Well, I have expenses building the program. I'm flying in the best, oh, did Facebook crash? No, it, it paused for like two seconds. It's oh, it's, a, it's messed up here. Can you reset it here? Yeah, I'm getting thumbs up and hearts and it should be changed, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah. I don't know why they're switching it to that. I think they all should be that. Um, so, the good news is, I can get, you can get in for very cheap. You can get in for under $200. We have two options. So, average college is 10,000 bucks a year in the US. Average community college for one quarter is 1,000 bucks. So I decided to go lower. It's not even 1,000 bucks. And then I put two, two options. You can do it in one payment where you save money or you can pay it over a, uh, is it three pay or four pay? Uh, Can't remember. We have it divided in monthly payments. Four pay. Yeah, so you can get in for under $200. That, if you do the four pay, it's less than 200. I forget what it is exactly. So, if that's too expensive for you, then I don't know what to say. Go to college. <laughs> it's only 10 grand. <laughs> so, I'm not pushy with this stuff. In fact, nowadays, I used to be more into like persuading people. Now I'm like, look, if you really, I look for people who get it in life. Congratulations, Reagan Lee took the four payment plan from Louisiana, from Instagram Live. Daniel Rivera, card was declined, but a lot of times that happens. Just put it back in, it usually goes. Um, Chase Dyer, congr congratulations. Oh, from North Carolina, man. I lived in Raleigh, I played basketball there. Jose Ortega took the one payment plan, saved some money. Congratulations, my friend. Oklahoma. <clears throat> Where's my people not from America? Actually, I think CU, oh yeah, we have one outside the US so far. So I'm gonna keep this up. Uh, if you're, here's my advice to you. If you're on the fence, um, just get the program and you can always get your money back with a refund. If you're wondering why we're qualified to teach this, you know, me and my business partner, Alex, we've spent over $600 million marketing our own businesses online. So we've, been, we've spent of our own money or our business, you know, our business, that we own, not an agency for other people, over half a billion dollars. So we've learned a lot of stuff and we'll show you. So you always, the proof is in the numbers, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna head out. You gotta give away my phone. I got a giveaway to do, yep. then I got to go. Should I wear this to the game? What do you guys think? It's pretty snazzy. Should I wear this to courtside Lakers? You look like a, Anna? an owner. Do I look like an owner? Do I look? Somebody said I look like a magician. <laughs> Somebody said I look like I'm, I'm gonna tell their fortune. Somebody said hell no. Most people are saying yes. Hell, it's either yes, 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 or no. Should I wear sunglasses? I T.O. the football player used to go with me, and we he'd wear sunglasses. Okay. Somebody said yeah, it's sexy. Um, Zach, what do you say? Dude. <laughs> yeah, are you a woman or a man? I take women's advice on clothing better. Um, okay, we're gonna give away some cash. Congratulations, Louis Petroni. Got in the test group. Oh, you got a picture of yourself from California. Jonathan Dorath, or sorry, Donath. Congratulations from Illinois. Facebook, it's cool. Robert Maldonado, congratulations. We've got lots of people getting in here, more than I can read now. John Wong, congratulations. All right, Patrick Boggs just came in. Congratulations, I'm gonna try to read these off. Oh, Seth Gammon, congratulations. He, some of these taking the four pay, some are doing the one pay. Hey, those who invest in themselves over time, they beat out the people who don't, simple math. Albert Einstein said compounding effect is the most powerful force in the universe. Meaning, you take what you have, you build on top of it, and you reinvest it back, 
and you get exponential growth. The curves like that. And, you know, I don't know if we'll all do as well as Kylie Jenner did, but if you do one thousandth as well as Kylie Jenner, you'll be making $420,000. So, I don't know if you're as thousandths. I've been able to, I'm, a, I'm better than a thousandth as good as, as Kylie Jenner. But, you know, I can do ten, a tenth of what she does. So, I've done more than that. And it came from learning, man. I bought a program when I was 24 uh, online from a guy named Corey Rudel, and it was how to advertise and sell online. And he died in a car crash. I never got to meet the guy. It was always sad that I didn't. He, he, cra he made so much money at all these nice cars. He had a Porsche and crashed in San Diego in, uh, in like 2007 or eight. So, um, yeah, if you're on the fence, get in because the test group closes and it's money back guarantee. So if you snooze, you lose. I set it up like, people are like, why do you set it up like that? I'm like, trust me, for each of you, focus in life on action takers. Most of the world is full of people who talk about it and never do it, man. They do. They talk about it, but they never do it. It's insane. How, half the people in the world, you could just say to them, if you would talk, if you would do equal to what you talk, it's okay with talking a lot, but if you do equal, you make a lot of damn money. Some people, if their mouth was a money-making machine, they'd be the next Bill Gates. So, especially on online comments, boy. Some of you are very witty with your comments. Why don't you write a website that's very compelling, it's called copywriting, and turn that wit of yours into a dollar versus just looking like a dumbass commenting on other person's, you know, I see people trolling people. I'm like, half these trolls have high IQs, but they've been tricked by the system into thinking that they're paralyzed. You're not paralyzed. As long as you have breath, you got a chance. So anyway, I'm going to give away, as I promised, I didn't give away much cash. So I'm going to do two winners, $100 PayPal. Second winner gets this iPhone 7. Simplest question ever. How long did it take Kylie Jenner to do 420 million in makeup sales? I'm a four, the fourth and fifth person I see answer this. We'll get it. How many months? Three months is incorrect. One year is incorrect. What do we have? Okay, there's the first person I see. One correct, two correct. Let's wait till we see it on Facebook. We're gonna get once all the social, Facebook lags, so I gotta give them a chance. There you go. Did someone in. come from at the gate? Did anyone, a guest ever come? Mr. Wexler, yes. No. After that. No. After that, no. Really? They're ringing the bell. It's ringing right now. Yes. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to close my eyes. Adrian, tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. Twitter. I'm going to give away the cash. The nutsack for you gets $100. That's his new nickname. Okay, now I'm going to give away the phone. The nutsack is not for me, but maybe it's for someone else. If that's how you roll, you're handing out nutsacks, your own, good luck. Okay, here we go. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, first person I see. Teeps, Teeps Notice. Said 18 months. I got it. Brand new iPhone 7, 128 gig, my friend. C congratulations. All right, I'm gonna keep the link up to the Laker game. You got about 45 minutes to make your decision. You can go right here to this. You can, first of all, you can click the button on the page. If you see the button on the page, you can click the button on this page, or you can go to right here, or you can go to the link in your social media. Uh, if you're watching it live on social media. Eight months was not right, 18 months. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for your opinion on the suit. Exotic clocks. Uh, what was the Vintage Clothing Depot? I hope somebody bought that. It's available for $8. I'm just giving out business ideas to people. That's a six, seven figure business right there. So I uh, hope to see you guys in the program. Get in, get the eight bonuses. And somebody said, Ty, you're pretty awesome. Thank you, Brent. And let's see if these Lakers can do okay. All right, talk to you soon. Okay.
Wait a minute. Don't make sure you don't um, close this one. And make sure you yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know how to upload them and all that.